Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy and today's lesson we've got a warm-up where you're going to learn all 12 blue scales. Now in today's lesson we're learning what's known as the blue scale, sometimes it's referred to as the minor blue scale. There are a couple of different ways to make the blue scale. First of all, if you know your minor pentatonic scale, say for example your A minor pentatonic scale, then it's basically just those notes plus what we call the flattened fifth which means we're going to be adding in an E flat in between the note D and E. And when you do that, you get a scale that sounds like this. Now, if you've not heard of these pentatonic scales and you're not sure how they're created, then you can check out the previous video, which is linked down below, which is how to create and learn all 12 of your major and minor pentatonic scales. Another way to think about this blues scale is how each of the notes relates back to the home note or the root. So for example, for the C blues scale, you can see we have the root, number one, then we have the flattened third, the E flat, the fourth, F, the sharp four or flattened fifth, however you prefer to think about it, the fifth and the flattened seventh. Now this scale is one of the most commonly used scales, especially in styles like funk, pop and rock, and of course the blues. In the description below, there's also a link to my blues scale workout video, which is where we have 36 different phrases using a blues scale. So because this scale is used in so many different contexts, it's often used in lots of different keys as well. You'll find that if you're playing more kind of traditional jazz blueses, you'll be sticking in some of the more easier keys on the saxophone. Like for example, the G blues scale, the C blues scale, the A blues scale, those kinds of keys. However, when you start jamming along with guitarists and playing kind of more pop and funk things, you'll often find that they're in quite tricky keys for the saxophone. And that's because for the guitar, they often like to play in E or A, which then puts us into on alto F sharp or C sharp or on tenor F sharp and B and they're a little bit trickier under the fingers. Now I've structured this workout in a similar way to previous scale workouts of mine where we start with the scale with the fewer sharps or flats in the key signature. Now essentially we're thinking of this blues scale as like a minor pentatonic plus this extra note. So we're going to start with the A blues scale which has zero sharps or flats in the key signature. We're then going to move to the E blues scale because that has one sharp in the key signature followed by D blues scale because that has one flat in the key signature. And then we're going to be working our way down the cycle of fifths in a similar way, going to the key signature with two sharps, two flats, three sharps, three flats, etc. until we get all the way down to the bottom where we end with the D sharp blue scale. Now I perform this workout on alto saxophone. So if you play an instrument like tenor saxophone, soprano saxophone, or maybe even a concert pitch instrument like piano, violin, something like that, then you can head to onlinetaxacademy.com and in the YouTube library there, you can download a free transpose backing track. So you can play this workout, but transpose into your key. Over there, there's also the PDF download so you can follow along more easily. We're gonna be playing these scales up and down one octave and we start with quarter notes first of all, and then we repeat the scale, but with eighth notes. Now, if those eighth notes are a bit fast for you, don't worry, you can always sit those out and join in in the next scale when it goes back to quarter notes. And of course, you can use YouTube's playback speed settings and slow it down to 0.75 or even 0.5. Now, this is a great warm up to start your practice with. And as you're doing it, you can really pay attention to your finger position, keeping your fingers moving nice and efficiently, staying nice and relaxed, good breath support and a nicely formed embouchure. And as you get to know these scales, see if you can learn them from memory and see how far through the workout you can get before you have to look to remind yourself what the notes are for a particular scale. You can also try this warm up with different articulations as well. You could try going all the way up and down in one breath and slurring it all together. You can also try different tongues as well, like legato tongues and staccato tongues. And this can help bring another dimension to focus on when you're warming up. All right, so here's that blue scale warm up.
Okay, so don't forget to head to Online Sax Academy to get the free PDF download of all these blues scales. And also you can get the transposed backing tracks if you play tenor sax or you're a concert pitch instrument. And premium members will also have access to the additional PDF where we have all of our major blues scales written out as well. And of course, premium members also have access to everything that's on the courses page, where we currently have three courses for ear training, music theory, and improvisation. They also have access to all the materials in the resources shed, and they can connect with me and other members in the private forum. So if you're not a member yet, do head over to the memberships page and check out everything that's on offer there. All right, so that's it for this week. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on future lessons, and I'll see you next week.